My name is Baron Chua Hyung. My first ayahuasca journey was was in India. Basically, on that journey, I wanted to learn about my, you know, I wanted to see my past, present, and future lives and how my life right now fits in that whole picture. But when I went through that experience, um, you know, I didn't see that. That's why I feel like it's important not to have any expectations because, you know, I, Mother Ayahuasca is going to show you whatever she feels like she wants to show you. Um, okay, so but then during that trip, the, my first trip, it was mainly like an introduction. Mother Ayahuasca said that um, she's met me before and I've met her before. Like the energy, I, her energy was familiar. Um, so it's more of an introduction and then I felt like um, she just showed me the beauty of life and like built on to my experience of life and showed me how beautiful life is and it was like a celebration and it was just like pure happiness and bliss you know and then that's in terms of the visuals but in terms of the detox of course you're gonna purge and I love the purge yeah. So second journey, I came to it open. Um, once you go in, you're in like an energy field and everything becomes frequency. Your physical self becomes vibrations and like everything around you becomes vibrations, even the people around you. So like, even if you get a bit close to someone, you feel like, like this sense-wise, you feel like you're part of them and like everyone's part of you. Um, but what's profound with my second trip is that I was one with everyone, but I found my core. Like I found my center. I felt my own God self. And I had my own voice in that whole. So I think that's one of the most profound thing I learned this trip. Yeah, because I was open as well. Yeah, I didn't do my first time with you guys. I felt like um, I was sort of doing it again. Also, like it's an experience you can't really um, put into words. And I did my first experience a year ago. So now, when I first went in, I didn't really know what to expect, how the energy felt. So I, I was like coming into it, like um, I was doing it my first time again, you know. Um, but then like when I went there, um, you know, the energy was um, familiar again. And so now, I basically feel comfortable with the energy. So that's the new thing that I learned. I feel comfortable with it. I can take it, you know, almost every time. I'm not gonna feel scared. I'm not gonna feel like, you know, nervous or anything because I know the energy. I know how to deal with it, you know. Um, how well did the guides um, guide us? I feel like it's very, it's, I feel like the whole experience was organized. Um, there was a start and then the activities we did in the middle, starting with the breathing exercise, I thought that was good. Or even starting from the very start when we just talked about like, you know, what to expect, how is, it, how is your, you know, own experiences, all that. And then, you know, when we went into it, the breathing exercise, I thought that was good. And also to like, you know, a sort of warm up because you were like shouting. <laughs> and so everyone like sort of you know became comfortable just like you know letting go and then after that the repe which also helped and then you know all the sages we had on the room incense and then the whole room setup was also really nice I felt protected energy wise um, 
and then throughout the whole um, you know ayahuasca trip you guys were there you guys were like you know asking us if we were fine and at the end of it you know we were all still like talking about it and then we had like a ending and then you know I think it's really well organized and well you know put together thanks um I rated um 10 or 11 <laughs> no of course there you know there are improvements but like it's a good experience well organized I wasn't like you know what am I supposed to do next um who's gonna take care of me I felt safe um I knew what we were doing and so I feel like you know that's a good enough experience like you know I couldn't ask for like you know more protection or more anything you know I felt good yeah don't even compare both the drugs firstly ayahuasca is like a medicine and you guys prepared a good ass medicine <laughs> like it's super good <laughs> um ayahuasca is a medicine you know like it purges you it takes out all the toxin from your system physically spiritually emotionally or like mentally and then when you purge that out you feel like a new person like you feel like all the dirt in you is gone and you know you felt like you're given uh, like ayahuasca cleanse you of all the toxins all the dirt that you put in your body and so i think something like that shouldn't be compared to shabu <laughs> you know shabu is like the great um deteriorating you know it doesn't make you feel good um it doesn't heal you it like damages your body well ayahuasca it heals you it regenerates you you get recharged energy wise physically you get rid of the toxin and you just feel so much better you know i didn't have that much sleep today but i feel strong i feel like you know my immune system's back um i'm healthy like i don't have any blockages so yeah Namaste. <laughs>
it's kind of different it's kind of like knowing yourself much better so it's kind of medical meditation and medical things actually and sabu is it's completely a drugs it's damage your cell you it's damage your brain and your activities and everything and and the most important thing if you go into sabu so it's it this turn into a habitual problem so habitually you need to take the sabu every time but ayahuasca is not like that yes so that is completely different this nature and that, that is chemicals thank you Namaste. thank you Uh, my name is Devi Opau. Um, first ayahuasca journey was great. Uh, it's a siguro indescribable yung feeling ng pagtake ko ng ayahuasca. Uh, yeah, it's just indescribable na kailangan mong ma-experience yung, ano, yung, yung concoction. Uh, about the journey, Siguro eh, kung kung huhulmahin ko o kung iisa-isahin ko. Um, well, siguro yung first, medyo matagal siya mag-ano eh, di ba? Medyo matagal siya nag-kick-in sa akin. Um, pero pagka nararamdaman mo ng paano na, paparating na, uh, you have to be ready. Tapos, parang let go of any restrictions. You know, just just let it go, let it flow. Um, ang nangyari sa akin nung ginawa ko yun, para akong natutupi. <laughs> so, nakada, ang, ang position ko nun, nakadapa talaga ako. Tapos, para akong, feeling ko acrobat ako eh. Pero, feeling ko acrobat ako, pero I don't feel my body. Uh, starting from, from my legs, natutupi ako na hanggang pa, hanggang sa, hanggang sa ulo. Yun. Kumbaga, pero it didn't last. Uh, saglit lang. Tapos, after nun, feeling of euphoria talaga. Na pure bliss. Happiness. Kaya, ang parang natatanging paraan ko na lang para makonvey is to to dance. <laughs> diba? Parang uh, sundan mo lang music. Just, just, you free, in para in free flow meditation na natutunan ko kay kay Vene. Uh, you know, yeah, I enjoyed it, talaga sobra. Tapos afternoon, parang medyo nagsasubside ulit. You have to lie down. Uh, Dun nagstart yung medyo vague visions uh, about about shapes, uh, continuous, infinite. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm doing this kasi for ano, mind exploration talaga. Parang wala naman akong kahit anong sickness or ano. Uh, basta yun, it's more more on mind exploration. Uh, at siguro, learning about your, your purpose in life. You know, what's more... What's more in life bukod sa bukod sa kung ano ba sa generation natin ngayon kasi namulat tayo sa ano eh diba? sa materialism ayan um, ano ba basta maraming klaseng conditioning na insignificant I, I think insignificant so yun um, going back to the journey so yun vague shapes infinite shapes continuous Tapos siguro may feeling din na ano, na I have to purge again. Tapos pur- yung feeling na I have to purge again and then the feeling of euphoria. Tapos feeling of you, you want to purge again. Kaso, um, ewan ko, parang, parang subconsciously napipigilan ko siya. Kaya, ewan ko, siguro... Siguro there's still more sa, sa trip ko. Siguro parang magiging intense pa siya if I if I just let go. Pa. 
yung self realization siguro na nadala ko na iuwi ko pa so, na ma, na maiuuwi ko sa sarili ko is just to be just continue to be a good son to my to my parents you know? tapos siguro pagpapatuloy ko lang yung pagcare ko sa sa nature you know? um, and just be thankful for everything yeah have empathy um, can I can I rate it infinite parang hindi <laughs> <laughs> pero Just I'm sure kung 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'd give it 10. The experience. Pero it, I don't know. Basta, it's, it's just indescribable. Uh, it's the best. The oh yeah, the guides um, very helpful. You know, parang par, parang na realize ko nga na hindi ganun kadali yung trabaho nila. Pero siguro at the same time you're enjoying na rin. Kasi di ba, it's worth worth it yung pagtutulong, yung pagtulong niya sa amin eh. Um, yun, all throughout the ceremony, yung parang pinag, yung, yung energy was just flowing. Yun, yun, yung, yun yung parang na-enjoy ko talaga. Na, yun, na hindi, hindi may pagpapalit sa kahit ano. Uh, siguro, Nasa ano siya, nasa stage siya na ignorance is bliss sa edad niya. So yun, ini-enjoy niya lang siguro yung pagka-ignorante niya sa, sa, sa medisinang ito. At, uh, pero siguro kailangan na lang nating intindihin bilang ano. Respeto. Oh, respeto na lang. Hindi, hindi dahil sa matanda na siya, pero yun yung opinion niya. It doesn't matter kung anong sabihin niya. It won't affect us, di ba? Walang makakapagbabago sa kung ano yung pinan- na, pinaniniwalaan natin. So yan, yeah, pagpatuloy niya lang yan. <laughs> mag, ano, siguro, maghanap, magsubukan pa niya maghanap ng mga kasama niya sa gagawin. It won't, it won't succeed. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Kaya Bello. I think it's indescribable. My first trip lasted nine hours and I felt dead the whole time. I feel like I was dying to my old self. The whole time I couldn't remember my old life. And it was just a cycle for full nine hours of life, death, life, death, life, death. There was so much release and nabalik ako sa past ko na pabalik yung journey ko eh. Parang habang hindi pa ako pinapanganak, nandun ako and to the point na future na kung kailan patay na ako. I've been there so parang time didn't exist. And, and puro let go lang talaga. All of your inhibitions, your fear, pinapakita sa'yo. Hindi ka yung baby hindi ako binaby nung Aya. Like, lahat ng kailangan kong malaman, sinabi. Nalo na yung, para talaga siyang nanay. Like, what you need? Parang sinasabi sa akin, yung kailangan ng katawan mo, ito, tulog. Sus, tapakita niya yun sa'yo in an intense way. So, parang yung hiccup ko na parang three seconds lang, it felt like a year. So, ganun siyang ka-intense. That's it. There's a lot to say, pero that's the brief assumption. Don't judge yourself and love yourself. Because then, under love yourself is don't judge yourself. Because when you love every and accept everything in you as you are, you tend to accept other people for who they are too, and you don't judge them as you don't judge yourself. And kung alam mong nagagawa mo siya sa ibang tao na, you're not gonna pick on kung ano pa yung pinagdadaanan nila. You're just holding space for them and being mindful. And being mindful to yourself then na uh, you're going through this journey, they're going through this journey. May kanya-kanyang tip yung mga tao. Walang respect lang nila. Yeah, yeah, respect. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. Can you tell me? Amazing! <laughs> um, and this is priceless. Um, the guys 
during my trip, I always call them the shamans. So around, you'll feel feel safe, sobrang safe. And they're doing a great job in guiding everyone and at the same time letting them be, letting them experience what they need to, but you know they're watching over you and you are completely safe with them. Eleven out of ten. <laughs> no, but you get so it's priceless. But you get so much more than what you pay for. And then this is something money can't buy. But uh, you get more than you come in here with. Kaya tayo mo mag-expect. Meron kang idea ko na may yari. Pero it will it transcends that. But it's too much. Like you just need to experience it for yourself. Hindi mo siya makakontain sa mind. I, when I first read that article, it kind of made me irritated. Kasi, alam ko yung totoo na hindi siya totoo. And nung habang binabasa ko yung article, parang it's quite obvious na sinisiraan siya ng author. Kasi there's a lot of misinformation doon. And... For someone who has that power to reach out to a lot of people through public newspapers, like, bakit ka mag magsuspread ng false information? But why are you keeping everyone blind? Mm-mm. Parang, it's, I think greed is what fueled that fear na yun nga, baka ma- mawala ng negosyo or may competition. Mm. But, it's not as dangerous. It's not even dangerous. Physically, if you're not prepared and if you don't have a guide, but it's not because it's a medicine. It's all natural. Ishabu, it can. It's synthetic and it can kill you if you get too much. So I do not agree with it at all. And I think if wedding itama nung author yung ginawa yun ng article with something that's new that'd be great pero I think it it needed to happen then kasi when it came out people who knew and may makilala sila sasabi nila yung totoo so parang naging channel din siya of spreading the real truth through that false information so parang somehow thankful din ako na nangyari kahit medyo unfortunate siya na nangyayari sa bansa natin with an author like him. Thank you. Namaste. I just took ayahuasca for the first time and it feels it feels new it's like um, different from the old ones before I took this one and for me it's it's a blessing in disguise the same, the first uh, thing that I've been thinking if I should took it I should I should take it <coughs> I'm in doubt and then when I finally decided that everything is fucking up, like everything is messing with my life, and then I finally decided to go with it. And I'm happy with my decision. And then uh, this uh, December, uh, last December 9, I had this accident, and there's a lot of things going in my mind. And then I feel like I should take um, the creator who saved me all the time. It, I think it's my sixth accident or or more than that, but keeps on making me feel alive and still uh, just like the normal ones. And, and now that uh, I have this 
um, idea of her, uh, this which is Mother Aya. She showed me a lot of things, showed me a lot of negativity in my, in as, as me as a person, and then I keep on struggling at first. But then when I realize, I just have to let go, and then everything falls into place, and everything is. Um, getting all the informations, all the things that I need to realize, and all the things that I've been through with my life. It was meaningful for me. It's so much soul, soul, soulful experience. And I even realized my, my life way back that it's not it's not this place I've been living. I'm like living in different dimensions. Then I realized during the trip that um, I just I just want to know the purpose of life. For me, what I've realized is that I I respect all the people and especially you guys who introduced me to ayahuasca. Um, I thought I'll, I'll be experiencing in Brazil somewhere there, but then you guys are here, and then uh, and then I grabbed the opportunity to have this experience. What else could I thank for before the year, the year ends? I'm so blessed, and I just want to go back home and hug my family, everyone in the everyone. I just want to express how I love them. And then the visions I had when I have in closed eyes, it's it's pretty uh, amazing place that I've been through way back. And it feels like I'm on the journey that it's not yet the end. I have to take different adventures, journeys, just to um, to gain wisdom about life. And that's, that's, I think that's the main purpose of life is knowing the truth, knowing what life is, knowing what you should do, knowing what what's important in your life, not by like intertwining with others who have the same, who has this different mind setting, but uh, I recommend all the people who, are this ha who has this negativity in mind that they should, talk, they should take it for them to realize what's the world they're living, which is, for me, it's an illusion. For you will know the truth when you take the ayahuasca. And so far, I didn't have negative experience. I just had a good time and for you guys for guiding us and I'm so blessed so if I were just alone taking it I might get lost or never get back on track but then you guys are there to um, to take away all these um, negative energies and what else? And then I'm more like, I have this feeling that I'm compassionate with everyone. I want to reach all the people, like to educate them through like simple talks, not to drag them to push them to try this, but I highly recommend this one. This is life-changing experience for me. And I'm glad and I guess uh, remind me for the next trip. <laughs> I'll be going with you guys again. And uh, rating. Uh, let's just don't get with the numbers because it's just label. For me, it's, it's what the experience matters. You know? And about the things who bash ayahuasca. For me, don't, just don't do it, guys. Because what's the point of bashing when you, do, you don't really know the truth? And then you keep on telling something that is a lie to people, to mass people, like hindering them to take this good thing for them, for the healing. 
and for their life purpose by not working their ass off 9 to 5 or more than the work they need to do. But for me, um, know the purpose of life, um, learn to be content, to be happy, and everything will go into place. And um, I don't hate the people who bash that. Just don't do it because it doesn't make sense at all. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. I'm Marlu, and this is my third experience this year. So, yun, a birthday, birthday ko to. Sabi ko lang, sobrang saya kasi I ask everything na kay Mother Aya. Then, gusto ko lang maging masaya. Alam ko na yung gagawin ko. Since nung day one pa lang na nagtry ako nito, pinanong ko na siya. And lahat naman yun na fulfill niya yung answer na kailangan kong malaman. Then ngayon, I ask for happiness. Binigay niya sa akin. And wala akong masasabi kasi... Iba eh. Iba yung ngayon. Sobrang saya ko. Nakakatawa na walang problema. Ngayong nag-vision ako. Ngayon, nag-journey ako. Hindi ko na-feel na may problem ako, na tao ako or what. Basta masaya lang ganun. Iba. Iba yung pagkailang... Pag isa lang, pag dalawa lang. Di, pagka-group, sobrang masaya. Iba yung group. Ah... Uh, Sobrang lawak, ganun. Sasabihin sa'yo na we are one. Lahat tayo may connections, ganun. Na wala akong masabi. Basta masaya lang. Ayun. Maybe because sa kanya, um, Hindi pa kasi nila na-experience. Kung baga ba, hindi pa sila aware about dito. And marami pa silang kailangan malaman about sa Aya. Aya is not drugs or what. Sobrang ano neto. Um, Ayan, Hi. divine. Sobrang spiritual. Iba siya. Hindi siya yung drugs na parang sabog ka lang or what. Ito, marami siyang ituturo sa'yo. Kung... Ano ka bilang tao? Sino sila bilang tao? Ano ano yung connection mo sa mundo? Ano yung mundo? Ay niya ituturo niya sa iyo, hindi siya about yung gumawa ka ng masama. Alam mo nang ang addict ganun, nakaka-addict. Gagawin mo pa. Ito hindi. Isang isang kahit isang beses mo lang siyang i-try. Malalaman mo na kung ano man yung gusto mong malaman. Yes, yung mga addict, tinutulungan niya na magbago. And mahil Adik ka man, nasasaktan ka man, the best to para sa mga taong dumadaan sa struggles, suicidal na, ganyan. Sobrang okay to para sa kanila. Sobrang makaka, sobrang makakatulong sa kanila, malalaman nila kung paano nila mahalin yung sarili nila, paano nila pahalagayan yung sarili nila bilang tao and yung family nila. Dahil, ayun lang din yung makakatulong sa kanila.